Welcome back, boys. We finally finished the massive construction grind goal. Finally, our first big goal of 80. So that way we can make the master stash units. We have that prepared for Perilous Moon gear, the mage armor. But we got to actually get gear to actually do Perilous Moon properly. And one of the most important gear we're trying to get is the zombie axe. So this melee weapon is amazing. It's basically a whip, except I don't have to get 85 Slayer to go for it. And it also has a good crush style too, so that's also really good for a bunch of other things, like including Perilous Moon, because there's a boss that's be to slash and crush, so that's going to cover that. And also will be my next best weapon in general for melee, gotta go for it. But in order to get it, I need to do a bunch of quests to unlock armor zombies, and I have to get it from a drop. But it's a broken state though, so you have to fix it, and that requires 70 smithing, so that's what we're doing right now. We are trying to get Sunny Smithing at Giant's Foundry. Kind of like Gardens of the Rift, you have to do a quest where basically you just do the minigame. So it teaches you. All right, hopefully this finishes the quest and we can do this for real. Hell yeah. Also got me to 40 Smithing, so that's cool. Okay, that was a good warm up. Now I remember how to do this minigame. All right, let's do the real deal. I should have enough cash to do this because you should either profit or break even if you uh do this mini game properly we're gonna get three sets of games per run and see if i can do this within 20 minutes uh i need 28 bars worth per run and if you throw in uh, metal items like for example play body it's normally worth five bars right but when you put it in the foundry it counts as four so seven bodies total is 28 bars worth. So I can run one game. So I have enough for three games. If you want to do hybrid amounts of items, you don't want to just do all, all iron, all steel either. All right, we're going to put in four of these and three iron plate bodies. Just got to make sure we put in the right amount. This should be exactly 28. As you can see, it fills up. And then I need to get a commission from him. Heavy spikes. All right. So I do have the mini game plugin. I forgot what it's called, but just type it in Giants Foundry. I'm sure you'll find it. There we go. All right. Let's see how good that was. I gained 10,000 coins. We're, we're nearly breaking even, I want to say, because four steel plate bodies is about 8,000 GP. Three iron plate bodies is about uh, 1500 GP. So yeah, we're actually breaking even even if, if we do this with some mistakes. So that's pretty good. I'm making money. Nice. Wow, we gained two smithing levels. Hell yeah. This is very viable, guys. Very viable. Dang, how much did I get this time? Dang, second game. Let's go. All right, this is awesome. I managed to do three rounds. And my minigame teleport is about to run out. Also 44 smithing. Gotta hop three times. And there you go. I got everything I need, and I can just mini game teleport right back. Beautiful. Yes, another commission. Holy, we're getting a level every single time. That's crazy. Oh, shoot. I can buy a mold now. So, buying these modes increases our efficiency here, basically, increases our XP per hour. So, yeah, we got to buy these with our points. Dang, we're actually doing this so quick that uh, I still have like a bunch of time left on my minigame timer, even after three rounds. Thankfully, thankfully, we do have a backup plan. We can get back here kind of quick with Ring of Elements. Nice, we get another level. 49 smithing, and guess what? We can buy another mode, which makes it faster XP per hour, so let's get it. Dude, this is crazy though. I'm actually getting like 60k an hour. Freaking Giants Foundry with just iron and steel. And I'm not losing money. Whoa, 6,000 XP for that one. Yeah, look at that. Because of our molds, I'm pretty sure. Because we unlocked a bunch of molds, we went from like 5k ish to like 6k ish XP. Yo, we hit 50 smithing though. That means I can actually do Mithro now. And I probably will do Mithril. I just need to see if, like, I'm going to lose too much money or anything. All right. So we do three Mithril bodies, four steals. Kind of crazy. I'm feeling so bougie. All right. First turn in. What kind of XP are we getting? 7.5k. 
Dang, I definitely lose money. 6,000. 12,000 coins. Let's go. 54 smithing. Let's go. Holy shit. You can still get 7k XP just doing stuff like steel and, and iron. I went from like 5k to 7k. Holy 55 smithing. Yeah, it's due to the modes though for sure. The modes are really nice. Still have so many modes to get as you can see. Look at this. Can't wait to get them all. Not gonna lie, I think I just got this crafting level mostly from cutting gems I get here. Straight up. Yeah, at one point it was estimating it would take me 20 hours here to, to level up. And uh, yeah, I've been here definitely like 20, 20 hours overall. So this is the conclusion to the cat project from last episode where I was trying to get myself a wild cat. I just had to wait for my cat to get into the overgrown state and then I can convert it into the wild cat at the rat pits. So now we have that. This cat is going to be amazing for future boosting because it's the best way to get yourself the spices from the hell rats. And we're going to be boosting way more than any other account because on top of regular boosting needs, I also got a boost for stash units and there's a ton of stash units, master ones that I can make in the future. So it's a well worth investment. Can you train my cat for me? Oh, there we go. There we go. See, now it's a wily cat. All right. It's a new day. Used up all my bone shards. Got another cheeky prayer level. And I might see myself getting another one tomorrow or the next time I... I FK mine, but yeah. We got to continue our smithing grind for the zombie axe grind, so 15 more levels to go. Back to Giant's Foundry. We're gonna get ice gloves because that way I can skip all the buckets and honestly the shades and gloves. Uh, I'm gonna be upgrading this to mithril gloves, like the RFD chest gloves soon. There we go. Nice ice gloves. Next. Oh, 56 smithing. First level of the day. I'll talk a little bit about how Giant's Foundry works. So you're effectively making a giant sword, right? And if you look at the top of the game, you'll see this big bar thing, right? And there's three rows. The most top row just shows you how far you're away from finishing making the sword. And the second row just shows you how hot the sword is because that's going to be related to the last row which is the part of the process in what you're doing for making the sword so sometimes you gotta hammer the sword sometimes you gotta use a grindstone sometimes you have to use a whetstone depending on what you have to do you have to make sure the weapon is at a certain temperature so that's what the second bar is going to tell you right so for example if you're hammering the sword you want to be on the red so you just gotta match the colors and same for uh the whetstone the whetstone's green so you have to make sure the heat's green so effectively, you just follow it through the stages and then you'll finish the sword. And the better you follow, the better the XP. So you make mistakes, less XP. Nice. 58 smithing. Another inventory done. And we get another level. 60 smithing. Sweet. Oh, 8,000 XP. That's crazy. The highest I've gotten with iron steel. 62 smithing. And my rates just keep going up and up, man. Alright, I guess I'm not going to really buy any more of these molds. Uh, I might have accidentally bought a bunch of molds. There's quite a few that are like 70 plus. 65 smithing. I want to go... Uh, that's actually not bad. I'm, I'm making like at least 40k an hour right now. While gaining insane good XP. 66. 67. Look at that. So fast. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Ooh, 68 smithing. Let's go. I guess I'll buy this last mode. I can do level 69 now, so. There we go. One last level. One last freaking level. Alright, guys. This is going to be the last one we need to hand in. There it is. 70 smithing. I could have boosted at earlier levels, but I need 70 anyways for the song of the elves. I, I forgot to mention, but yeah. We're done. Kill two birds with one stone. Now members can repair zombie axes. Sweet. But unfortunately, I have to do so many quests before I can even go and kill the zombies. Look at this. So many quests. Oops. Anyways, 75 mining. 
yeah we're still gonna be here i think at least probably just till 70 and i think i'll switch it up probably go back to uh ammonite crabs or something and yeah just chill there and maybe train our rain stats up a bit oh, oh man that's crazy four steps no combat pretty much here we go oh i got it a magic short bow oh my god that's so good Oh my god, I actually got a magic short bow. Five heart clues. Just for mining. Nice. We are now 77 smithing. So I'm probably going to stay at Calcified Rocks uh, for at least 70 prayer. It's getting really close. I already have like uh, one or two levels. It's another day. And it's probably going to be the last like productive day for a while because we're gonna be uh, away in japan for two weeks and the only thing i can do is probably a jody laps all right we've got 67 prayer nice nice three more to go only about 180k more xp to go so just got to do a few more days of afk calcite rocks and we can get it oh shit two levels two prayer levels oh my god and one that's just how much afk i did i guess I think it's time to actually uh, work on some Hispories because they do take a while to grow and I do have 11 of them so I already have one planted so yeah let's try and see if we can kill it get a head start on the bombless bucket and whatnot from now on I'm buying a pestle mortar from this guy he's so much more convenient what damn this quest is horrible man and ultra composted both hatches and they still died Okay, all right, we're gonna work on this quest called Below Ice Mountain while we wait for the cabbages to regrow. All right, we're so close, but my plants are still not grown. We're gonna go ahead and start Family Crest, I guess. All right, we're on the last steps of Family Crest, and unfortunately, I have to go to the wilderness. And it is too risky to go to the wilderness without death piling. So we're going to have to die one more time today. Kill it. Yes. Now we can get out of here. Oof. Man, scary. Nice. We got Family Crest done. And believe it or not, Family Crest was something I plan on doing regardless. Because I can get the Chaos Gauntlet. And weirdly enough, I want to use the Chaos Gauntlet with Air Bolt at Barrels. If you guys didn't know, Barrels Brothers, they're 50% weaker to air spells now. Also, I can hit as high as Fireball too, because of the magic spell rework. So, we're going to be messing the crap out of Barrels on our way to Perilous Moon, because we also need to get some armor. There it is, the final quest. Holy moly, this was worse than me death piling, I gotta say. Let's look at our Defender of Rack here. Can we do this now? Yes, we have all the quests filled out. First things first, I'm going to get a salve amulet. Because it works on the armor zombies for the damage percent. And yeah, we're going to go for the zombie axe. I think I'll also upgrade the salve amulet to the EI version as well. For 20%. There we go. Tarn's minigame done. And the best part about this book is... Now that I have obtained it... I should be able to retrieve it from my house because there's a bookshelf, right? If you guys didn't know about the bookshelf in your house. Oh, there we go. We found it. The Diary of Tarn Razor Lord. There we go. See? There we go. Look at that. Yay, we're here, basically. We can just kill these armor zombies even before we finish the quest. So, And it's the same exact drop weight. We're just going to get our defense to 70. I guess it's time because we got to do some barrows soon for the armor for Perilous Moon. And I need 70 defense. All right, we're going to get our first defense level. Nice. 61 out of 70. And I'm also getting some planks too. So that's cool too. So that's 180 kills an hour right now. Just with a D skim. Uh, 1 in 800, 180 kills. It's going to take anywhere from 4 to 5 hours on average, I guess, to get this axe. Alright, 62 defense, man. These are some good rates. We're getting around 60k an hour, so... The first Jody level. And the rest of this is just going to be on the phone. 
I did go on my Japan trip. It was about two weeks. Amazing time. I was with Ferif, his fiance, my friend JFK, and we did see Olive for about a day because his family was also there. During that time, though, there was a lot of bus rides, a lot of train rides. So I did find some time to work on some agility because honestly, good timing because I really didn't want to train agility at home at all so the bus rides train rides worked out i went from basically low 50s all the way to 67 which got me enough marcel grace to get the graceful i did a mix of cannabis rooftop and faldo rooftop so that's nice we got graceful now so it's gonna really really be helpful for certain things because i can store it and take it out whenever i want this is a very important level here because we're going to put this book of knowledge onto Herbalur for 38 Herbalur. And now I can make prayer, restore potions, and moonlight potions. Uh, both are really actually important. The moonlight potions you might not have heard of because it's pretty new. You can make these during the Perilous Moon bosses. Which basically uh, gives you like super combat stats. like, And it also recovers prayer. We're going to get 69 prayer sweet. Then, then I just need one more level. Hey, nice. Just got 60 do defense. Let's see what happens first. The axe head drop or sunny defense. Let's find out. Nice. 64 defense. Six more levels. Do we get this axe? 65 defense. Five more to go. Oh, shit. 66 defense. And 14, 25 total little break because i got a hard clue that i might be able to do so yo i actually freaking uh got this hard clue done all right that is watchtower done pretty nice and we unlock a teleport as well we can drop this all right let's open this chest oh nothing good yo 67 defense three more to go and we are almost on the drop rate to the axe Oh, there it is. This is big. This is big. 70 prayer. Dang, that's crazy, man. I basically did calcify rocks from like, what, 48 to 79. And that was enough to get me uh, from like mid 40s to 70. For those of you guys that are wondering. But yeah, now we can use piety uh, if I actually unlock it. That is. So we'll work on that at some point, you know. I just have so much other stuff to do. But that's awesome. I think I will probably switch to some other AFK content for a bit. You know, I've been I've been there for quite a while. Good luck, us. We got a bunch more seeds. So, ooh, air seeds. That's really nice. Oh, nice. Sixty-eight defense. Two more levels to go, and no sign of the zombie axe. Oh, nice. Okay, so if I stay on this corner, this ranger doesn't notice me right away, so that's nice. I gotta wait at least 10 minutes every time I get here to uh, basically wait out the aggro, and then the ranger is just a non-issue, but... Yeah, nice to find a little, like, semi-safe spot for this ranger, though. There we go, 16 high in the fence, dang. Oh, I got it! Oh my god, I got it. Yes. Holy shit. I definitely needed this drop like now because I am so freaking tired from the jet lag. Oh, nice, man. Just uh, 1,170 kills. Holy. One and a half times dry, so. Anyway, so we got like D skim here. You know, we got we got decent stats. Um... But once you put this zombie axe on, though, like, holy shit. Look at the accuracy boost. Look at that strength difference, especially that strength difference. It's like 41. And also has a crush style as well, like, really good crush as well, as you can see. So, yeah, this is going to be perfect upgrade for Slayer and for bossing, you know, like Perilous Moon, especially. Uh, it is a little bit slower. It is 25% slower than a D-Skim because it's... 3 seconds versus 2.4, but just the overwhelming max hits and the overwhelming uh, accuracy uh, just surpasses the, the D skim no matter what. We got some cleaning up to do now that we finished the armored zombies. I'm going to use up all these planks. Actually going to use up all this gold ore as well because I, I do have the smithing level and, and the family crest gauntlet to do that as well. 
All right, I have used pretty much all the planks that I got from the armor zombies, 1,200 of them. And the XP I got today from all that is 87,000. So that's pretty nice, man. You're getting basically like probably 60k con XP. All right, guys, I am trading a little bit of fletching so I can make sure my Tears of Gothics is going to work on Herbaler. It's a good idea to start AFKing some range, man. So we're going to go back to Ammonites, get some more seaweed, I guess, uh, some more Hisporoses or whatever. All right, got a quick 41 fletching from uh, 5,000 Iron Arrows. Hey, yo, first range level with the MSB, guys. Uh, not too bad, honestly, getting like 30k an hour just with Iron Arrows. We got so much done in today's episode. From start to finish, we wrapped up another major goal. We got ourselves the zombie axe, our next best in slot training and bossing weapon for the mid-level stage. Thanks to Giant's Foundry though for being such a fast way to train smithing on the Iron Man, especially the ultimate side. But yeah, ton of questing done as well. And anyways, we start a new bait grind in the next episode. We're going to be starting Barrows because we want some tank armor from Barrows so that we can do the Perilous Moon grinding really efficiently and also it would be nice to just get some tank armor just for other things as well i can imagine like dk's we want some tank armor for that as well for those grinds so yeah we got to start some barrels all right this is probably my last range level for today 